All right, so here we are on court, and I'm gonna try hitting a few and see if you can uh, notice the. Not sure if you can see that, but what I was trying to do there is um, give me just little ones here, just trying to show you that little bit of torque motion. And uh, of course, I'd be farther back and hitting a little bit harder and trying to open that up and uh, really get a lot of torque on that ball. But hopefully, you can see, and also that segment on reaction that's what we're that, uh, that deceleration occurs at the, the proximal segment. Uh, one more thing I want to talk about is. is the idea of, of stress and pressure in sport, and uh, and the reason I kind of thought of this is um, someone in class last day asked me about a guy that was uh, some kind of a kickboxing. Uh, you know, he was doing some punches and some 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 hits, and he was talking about relaxing the muscle and creating you know a lot of force uh, towards his opponent with with just relaxing, relaxing the shoulder, relaxing the wrist. And uh, so we chatted about that, and, and basically, uh, you know, the, the the link there is that you know you, you have to the muscles have to be loose and relaxed in order to create torque. So on my forehand, I need these muscles to be loose and relaxed in order to get that whip going. If there's any tightness in the muscle, I'm I'm restricted to how much torque that I can create because I can't get the racket back far enough, I can't get it through as far, and that creates more force. Um, more ability to develop pace. And so the link here with stress and pressure is if I'm under stress, if I'm in the, the, a big match and there's a crowd and I'm feeling that, that effect, then I'm going to grip the racket tighter and my muscles won't be able to perform. I won't be able to create those same torques because the muscles need to be relaxed to be able to freely swing through that ball. So, and everything changes, and that's specificity too. If I practice relaxed and with torque, right, and then I get to a game and it's tight, now the stroke is slightly different. And so that's our specificity. And so that's why people say, you know, I can do it so well in practice, but it comes to a game and it's different. And that's because the skill almost becomes different. A little bit of specificity because specificity is so exact. It has to be the exact training environment to competition environment. So, uh, so that's kind of the link, and so you know, that, a lot of you have involved in that, and I, I've got a lot of experience with that. I mean, you're so ready for a match, and you know, your strokes are so clean, and then you get to the match, and you can't hit a single ball on the court, and that's probably because of, of nerves, stress, and pressure, and that's because the muscles need to be relaxed to perform. And so there's a lot that goes into this whole idea of sport. Um, you know, you can look at forces and. But then you got to look at the, the sports psychology of it because uh, that's a whole other um, can of worms, a whole other course that you can take. But uh, like I said, that's the beauty of sport. It's why uh, I'm interested in it and, uh, and it's also why you're sitting in that seat that you're in right now because you have a passion for sport. And so it's, uh, it's just a lot of fun. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm trying to do something a little bit different. Hopefully all this works out. I can get the technology sorted out and get it onto YouTube and show it to you today. And, uh, and uh, hopefully some of this will help too with um, test on Tuesday. So uh, thanks.